With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Students, here's our question. Plates of area A are arranged as shown. Okay, so here are some plates of area A are arranged. The distance between each plate is D. Okay, so the distance between each plate is equals to D. The net capacitance is. So we have to find the net capacitance. Okay, so here we can see that this is one capacitor, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, and this is fifth. So there are overall five capacitance are present. Okay, let us take value of one capacitance is C, which is given by epsilon naught A divided by D. Okay, now let us see here. Here let us take the potential at this point A is equals to A. Okay, so here the potential will be A. Here also the potential will be A. Similarly for B, the potential here will be B and here will be B. Okay, now let us take this point to be C and this point to be capital D. Okay, so the potential here inside will will be D and outside it is zero. Okay, now for this plate here potential will be D and here also will be D. Now for this C here it will be C here it will be C and here C and here zero. Okay. So now using these potentials we can draw a circuit. Okay. So we have point A and here point B and we have to find equivalent capacitance between these two points. Okay. Intermediate points are C and D. Now we can see that here between A and C there is one capacitor. Okay. So it is given by this. Now between A and D there is one capacitor. Okay. So it is given by this. Now between C and D there is one capacitor. So it is given by this. Okay. Now C and B there is also a one capacitor and between B and D there is also a one capacitor. Okay. So now the equivalent circuit looks like this. Okay. And here we have to find the equivalent capacitance between A and B. Okay. Now this capacitance is C, this is C and each capacitance is C. Okay. Now here the ratio of this capacitance to this capacitance is given by C is to C and it is equals to that the ratio between this capacitance and this capacitance. So it is also C is to C. That means it is forming a wheat stone bridge. Okay. And in wheat stone bridge, this middle capacitance does not contribute to the equivalent capacitance. Okay. So our circuit will be look like this. It is one capacitance, second capacitance, here third and here fourth. Okay. It is point B and this is point A. All have capacitance C. Okay. Now here we can see that these two capacitance are in series. Therefore, their equivalent will be given by C by 2. Okay. And here these two are also in series. So their capacitance is also given by C by 2. Okay. Now this C by 2 and this C by 2 are in parallel. Therefore, total capacitance will be given by C by 2 plus C by 2 and it will be finally equals to C. And we have the value of C equals to epsilon naught A divided by D. So this is our final answer for this question. Option D is epsilon naught A divided by D. So it will be our correct answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.